Put this idea of dying in my head. Can can you just call me back? You expecting someone? Hello, team. You okay? I just have this feeling I'm going to die tomorrow. But how do you know? I just know. Okay, so you don't know. Happy birthday to you. is over here otherwise uh <laughs> i wouldn't be wearing my kerchief but how are you guys pretty good wow it's been a long time yeah i know right like a gazillion years nine years or something well yeah. I, when you were i talked to you jane last time was um all the light Sophia. in the sky so that was 2011 or 2012 2012 wow. Okay. That was eight years ago. Well, no, I can just speak for all of us. None of us look worse for the too worse for the wear. How's that? <laughs> we look a, a very attractive group of people. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you're, you're, are you guys in your prospective respective homes? Yeah. 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 All right. So, Jane, where are you? You're in a. I'm in Malibu. In Malibu, nice. And and Kate. Well, I am in New York. Okay. Uh, I was in Los Angeles um, until very recently. I see. Very good. And I am, since uh, I am up in uh, Hudson Valley, just so you know. So if you hear anything uh, uh, unusual, it might be related to the country, like if you hear wild animals or something. I just moved, I moved up here recently, and it's, 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 it's very different. A uh, red-tailed hawk screaming. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I was kind of disturbed, but I, I saw the film and I guess when it was being made, She Dies Tomorrow, there was probably no idea that we'd be living in a nightmare. So, yeah. you know, within the context now of seeing this great film, uh, now it has an, just all the more resonance, I guess one could argue, right? Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? It's very weird. But uh, because I guess the central theme is this is this idea of this contagion, right? Of 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 this uh, state of mind that people are having. This this uh, of they're going to die the following day, and yeah. essentially, especially Kate, your character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. Um, yeah, Amy was really tapping into something. Uh, How? Yeah. She did it. Well, apparently she has ESP a bit. <laughs> right, Amy's very, uh, very, she's uh, prescient on mm -hmm. some level. Uh, I mean, hopefully we, most of us don't go around thinking we're going to die tomorrow. Obviously, this is taking this uh, oh, anxiety. But Adam, what if it's a good thing to think you're going to die tomorrow? Because what if it is? Live for the day. You know, that's, that's what I think about, is maybe that's a good thing, because then you just really live. Right. I mean, because we all we really have is today. There's no guarantee 
that I'm going to even make it through the rest of the afternoon. I could go take a shower and slip in it and crack my head, and that would that was it's over. Oh, I hope not. But like, uh, no, but then the next day you're stuck with the same. How do you repeat that? You know, I'm just trying to take it on a practical. That's, way. that's what I mean. Like how that's what we all do, though. Yeah. That's that's life. Is you just keep repeating, like, oh, it's another day. Tomorrow, mm. another day. And that's it. That's what we do. We're right. all doing. But it's also how we handle anxiety, right? I mean, the 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 characters are not handling their anxiety very well here. Um, you know, I, I am in particular been very, uh, I guess, um, absorbed by my mortality. For I just always think about it. I always kind of think about, you know, uh, I was kind of grateful for Olivia de Havilland because I could somehow still kind of think like I'm halfway through life. You know, because I'm always thinking about how much longer I have, and it's a constant thing. I try to, I try to move beyond it. Kate, do you have any of that anxiety ever? Or you, you're pretty young, but I mean, so maybe you don't have to worry about that. But I, I'm always thinking about it. I think, I think everyone has, uh, you know, that varying degrees, and certainly I've gone through periods um, and uh, more obsessed with my own mortality, or or less so. Um, but I feel I feel like what I relate to most of all is the extremely high level of anxiety, and I. Are you freezing up a little bit? I hate I feel the like I would. <laughs> so funny. Wait, wait, hey, go back a little go bit. Back. Yeah, so, repeat like, that last bit again. Part, is this whole COVID thing just a union busting thing that they they've got, they've gotten rid of all the sound people and the makeup people and the well, lighting? That's unfortunate on so many levels. Of course, it's tragic. But also, yeah, this is ridiculous on some level that we're, you know, but on another level, it's kind of, uh, you know, for me, it's, it works generally. But uh, we lost, uh, sorry, Kate, we kind of lost that last bit of what you were saying. That's what we're talking about. Oh, sure. Yeah, I was just saying that um, I think that if I were faced with, um, if I were given the information, that I uh, were going to die tomorrow. What I relate to is the level of anxiety that the character experiences and that she sort of uh, fails to seize the moment. I think I would kind of uh, be paralyzed and, and screw up those last hours of, of life um, in a somewhat similar fashion to the way uh, Amy does in the movie. How would you choose to, la how would you choose to spend your, your last evening? Do you have any, you oh, must have I thought about it, right? Sure, but I, I, again, I, I just feel like I would uh, come up with, and Amy said this too, so I feel like I'm kind of copying a, a line of hers, but I feel like I would come up with a very lofty plan and then and, like, sit on my couch and stare at a wall. <laughs> oh, that's fair. It's honest. It's on. Hey, Jane, do you, had, you, had you thought about something like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I would want to connect with somebody. Yeah. You know, even I know what you mean. Paper, like, I would want to find a person uh, and say like, do you know what's going on? You know. Oh, I thought you were going even further, like with that, because I mean, you know, if it's your last night, I I don't know. My I son, think, had... I don't think I would be into some kind of pleasure making, sexual anything. I think it's more just about like, just looking in somebody, like just another pair of eyes on the whole reality thing. Sure, sure. Um, what was the mood on the set then? Well, I mean, what did, kind of mood did Amy create in order for you to get kind of into that right space? Or did you guys have, you didn't like have time to rehearse or did you? Go ahead, Kate. Rehearsing? Good. Um, the mood on the set was very low. Very what? I, we're uh, old. Okay. Very, you're breaking up a lot, Kate. Is there? Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Okay. Don't worry. Um, well, we'll fix it all in post. <laughs> That's what they tell me. Um, unfortunately, I think this is the best my internet is going to get today. It's okay. It's working. It's working. Yeah. But yeah, I was saying that the mood on set was very light. Um, mm -hmm. That we have all known each other for a long time and are old right. friends. And so you can sort of slip into these uh, darker scenes, but there's a lot of uh, levity when the camera stops rolling. Did you, when you saw the final film, did you guys have a, a sense of what she was doing? I mean, it comes out, it's very striking and it, um, you know, 
and uh, it's 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 haunting film. But did you have a sense of how it was going to uh, end up? I mean, I knew it was going to be creepy. Um, and the, I mean, and and I just know that there's that beautiful way that Amy works with her cinematographer Jay, and I knew it was going to be visually sort of dreamy and beautiful to look at. And I love working with Kate. You know, she's such a good actress and you know that the scene where we're at the house in the beginning and then in the backyard when I find her with the leaf blower you know we just had a lot of fun <laughs> I mean I, we laugh a lot you know in between the because it is funny you know yeah, yeah, yeah. even it's, though it's a horror movie it's right yeah also fun. it's just so stupid it's funny there's a uh, it's a very absurdist concept and I mean you know so it, the film is definitely is kind of experimental I think one yeah could argue, one could argue but uh, um, now had you ever worked with Amy before Jane yeah we met on um, in 2008 we met do Joe brought Joe Swanberg brought her oh right my apartment because I had seen her in Alexander the last and that's where I first met Joe, was doing yeah. the director thing in that. And then I thought Amy was wonderful in it. And then she came over to help produce um, the Silver Bullets that Kate and I were, Joe was shooting Kate and I in my apartment in the East Village. And Amy came over to help produce it. But I said, you know, well, because she's also a wonderful producer. Like she, Amy, does, Amy does everything really well, for real. And, yeah. uh, but she also has like these amazing legs so my nickname for her was legs at the time because i didn't know her very well i had just seen her in alexander the last with the gorgeous legs so i said you need to put legs in silver bullets you know like she should be on the other side of the camera so we did but that's how that's how we met I yeah see. she was gonna go shoot you guys hadn't shot um the mermaid what's the name um yeah sun don't shine you were about to shoot that right well, Silver Bullets took quite a long time to yeah. come. So by the end of shooting, yes, we were probably about to- Starting it. Yeah, um, she was writing it. We shot it in 2011. Um, yeah. So yeah, Silver Bullets was probably wrapping up around then. Yeah, yeah. he took a long time to finish that. <laughs> yeah, but that I'm very grateful that that was such a long one because it allowed yeah. us time to become yeah. True friends. Yeah, I know. I would say I feel like the best. That's just been the best thing. Is this Adam? Imagine how nice it was for me meeting Kate and Amy. You know, we've been friends ever since. Well, you're all very warm, and um, I find very very sweet people. Oh, thanks. Adam. I look forward to every time I run into any of you. You do. Know. I love the room you're in with the kind of grandfather clock type thing behind yeah you know that was uh my parents my parents i lost my dad but my recently but my dad my parents i have one of these clocks it's it was in the new york city subway system and they oh, had okay. auction they auctioned off all these like a train clock yeah yeah and my parents got two of them so i actually have two of these um so if you want one just just write me a note and we'll, <laughs> we'll work it out we'll, we'll negotiate something fair for you so wait okay so she dies tomorrow i don't want to i really don't mean to play down this film at all it's terrific it was uh had its huge premiere at the south by uh but it, and it's it's already in drive-ins have you either of you had the experience of, of seeing anything in the drive-in yet did you go Friday night, Kate? No, I didn't. I uh, I stayed home with Amy and we oh. hung out during the screening. Um, so I wasn't there, but a lot of our friends were there and they were sending us videos and pictures. Yeah. And it seems like a really nice house. Yeah. Lin Lindsay Burge sent me um, a, a, or no, it was Gates. Uh, wow. Amy's friend Gates sent me a photo with the train. There was a train trestle right next to it. I then, saw that too. Yeah, she, oh. he, and then Lindsay Burge told me that she was like, she texted me like, dude, the, the train blew by right before your entrance into such and such a scene, you know. <laughs> was this a roof, the rooftop screen you were talking about? Or? 
No, the the oh. drive-in had a had a train right next to it. That's oh, okay. Because the rooftop one also, it's right there in the industry near north of Industry City. I know there there's also old trolley tracks up that go up that way too. Right. And I didn't know if it was that one you were talking about. But, no, it was yeah. just wild. Gates sent me a photo, Kate and, and Adam, where you you could see the cars, like mm -hmm. the cars parked, and then the drive. And I just it's right. so surreal to look at that because not since the 1970s, you know. I know. Yeah, I miss them, but I guess I won't have to for long. I was in the back seat of a of a station wagon, you know, while my parents would what, and they would always bring us to movies that I probably shouldn't have been seeing because they just assumed we were asleep. But of course, but there wasn't were. kids' movies really then anyway. I mean, when I was growing up, we watched what the adults watched, you know, yeah, and, like and we were scarred. As, we were then. scarred as a result. I'm yeah. I, I I love you both so much in your work. I I feel frustrated, but we have to wind down. I, I'm being told, but um, okay. I just want to make sure to mention that uh, She Dies Tomorrow is currently in drive-ins, as we record this anyway, and then it's gonna be available on demand. I assume that means streaming as well as maybe on uh, cable as of August 7th, right? Thank you for that information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're welcome. I'm good about that. Any other movies you wanna know when they start? Uh, just, just pop me a note, I'll be sure. Thank you both uh, for for this enjoyable, albeit brief, conversation. Uh, but I wish you good luck with the film. I feel like you should have one more minute because I was blabbing about your clock and everything. Oh, Did but I, I, I no, by all means. I just moved into the space, so I'm still. This wall was actually supposed to be for projecting, and I have to take the stuff off that table because I wanted one wall that I could project stuff, like if I want to sh project a movie. Nice. I have a projector, but I, I haven't done it yet. I, I, I've only been here like a month or so, but uh, well, anything else you want to plug while you're, is there anything, then we'll, we'll hang it up. Not yet. No, this is good. We should stick what with it. What about you, Kate? Anything? Oh, no. Just She Dies yeah. Tomorrow. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. She, dies, she Dies Tomorrow is uh, really interesting. The much anticipated follow-up to Sun Don't Shine. Thank you both very much. Uh, Thanks, uh, Adam. Great to see you. Stay oh, healthy you. and safe and everything. Okay. Life's not safe, Adam. Yeah. No, it never has been. Live, live carpe diem, live for the moment. Yes. Have a great day. You uh, too. Happy Bye. internet. It's nice to talk Bye. to you. Same here. I'll see you, see you soon. Bye-bye.